Over 100,000 gross tonnage and 200 72 meter LOA LNG versus was allocated at the moving filling platform as floating storage unit FSU under the close supervision of Myanmar Port Authority on Thursday. This LNG vessel sent it V4 Energy Echo at the Dolphin Gentile, and this is the largest vessel in Myanmar port history. We did projects to fulfill the country's electricity demand in late 2019 for 2020 summer, which are Tiloa project producing 350 megawatts per year and Takita project producing 400 megawatts per year. This new vessel carried 120,000 cubic meters of LNG for the Lua project. 750 megawatts of electricity can be distributed for 24 hours for about 21 days. The project with the use of the new valve set was delayed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. In order to support the urgent supply for the shortage of electricity for the country, mobile filling platform MFE was used as FSU floating storage unit. This vessel is the largest vessel in Yangon Riverway thanks to the new riverway found under the five-year riverway project. This is the very first project of electricity distribution by LNG. This vessel will be anchored at Dolphin Jetty as a floating storage unit. This project will make Myanmar bright with electricity, I'm sure. The new Valsel Sante V4 Energy was fulfilled the country electricity demand to some extent. This project will become the perfect infrastructure for the energy sector. Developed countries have LNG terminals. Now our country has got an LNG terminal. So I like to congratulate all from Ministry of Transport and Communications and Ministry of Electricity and Energy. This vessel departed from Singapore and will anchor here for five years. With the use of the vessel, electricity can be distributed to urban and rural areas. This is the largest vessel in Jungle Riverway. The riverway is so good that there's no difficulty. Government opened a public tender in late 2019 and this project was awarded to the winner consulting of the V4 Group and Santed.